dead. I'll spell that thing myself. Thank you. Arisen. Incredible. Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. Truly. We managed to repel the dragon, but what will be- That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. No wonder I feel so hollow. Sigurd. You're the current Arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. Is a style all my own. A patchwork of techniques honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. 
I see it in your eyes. You are ready to learn. And so I shall teach you a technique. Use it well. Since the reign of Raphaes, the founder of Vermont, the village of Malf has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet not only has the dragon been allowed to devastate the village, but in the wake of its attack, you dared to submit what are clearly false reports of having felled the beast. None save the sovereign can fell the dragon. Perchance you mistook an overgrown wyvern for the bringer of calamity. The fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? with Malv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! The village and Tyre will answer for this! What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor. I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still... How would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my... Earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if no else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I can't.
cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village, for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. You've heard she fled the village. I, though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge, protecting vermin against the dragon. As for where she went, I do not know. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the Overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. The old man is strange in word and deed, yet I can't quite bring myself to this. No! I'm not sending anyone into that cave! But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? I've held my tongue till now. But no longer. You would leave one of your own to die. This is impermissible. A village is nothing without its people. Sacrificing that poor soul amounts to cutting off your own arm. As Harv's leader, you ought to strive to do whatever you can to bring him back alive. Can you truly say this decision benefits your people, Jonas? <laughs> Who are you to question me? I'll suffer none of your impudence, outsider! Be gone from our village! I, Jonas, I am an outsider, and therefore have no reason to heed any commands you would give. I shall follow my own will, and do what must needs be done. All those with the strength and courage to do the same, join me at Stormwind Cave. We've been called upon to render aid. Let us make haste. Sir Ulrika is ever a beacon of hope. Let us make haste and join her at Stormwind Cave. Pray, allow me to show you the way. The vanguard is yours. Lead on.
cavern depths lie ahead. Onward? We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. Understood. Here we are. Tis you. Have you come to join us in our rescue effort? My thanks. We shan't fail with you by our side. The captured villager ought to be within. Let us hurry. We will likely find our charge in the cave's depths. Shall we press on? Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? The vanguard is yours. Lead on. your senses. If aught fills out of place, let it well be a trap. We should have hit wits about it. Idea. I've never seen my own master attempt such a feat. Well, well. Color me a surprise. Saved. Thank you. Thank heavens you yet live. Let us be on our way. The other villagers shall be thrilled to see you in good health, I'm sure. Shall we report back now? Thanks, sir. I've been the oil spit in it, well, haven't you? So to speak. Over here.
That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? What's up there? I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. I've a means of getting over there, Arisen. Shall I assist? Isn't it about time we had ourselves a meal? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. Over here, if you would. Follow along at your own pace, Master. I shan't leave. You have returned triumphant, I see. Oh, what a relief. Indeed. And now that the task is done, I shall leave Har Village, ne'er to return. In exchange, I beg you to forgive those who joined me. I incited them, and so I alone ought to suffer the penalty of exile. Yet I will go forth from this village with my head held high, glad in the knowledge that no lives were sacrificed under my watch. There'll be no need for that, Ulrika. In light of your good deeds, all shall be forgiven. After you left, we who remain discussed that which our village treasures most. It is as you yourself have said. A village is nothing without its people. We ought to have learned that lesson well after the dragon chased us from our homes. Yet t'was your heartfelt plea that reminded us of it. Ulrika, would you honor our village by becoming its chief? It is our hope that you will guide us, and that your kindness and wisdom shall unite our people, human and bestrand both. Aye, if that is what is needed, I shall rise to the call of duty. I vow to protect this village and its people with my life. It seems Sir Jonas has seen the error of his ways. But I've no doubt Sir Ulrika will prove a better chief. T'was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. We've arrived, just as planned. To think I would meet you here. Or were you searching for me? I cannot return to Mal, not till my name is cleared, not till the dragon is found. This village also suffered the dragon's attack in the past. I intend to stay here and investigate its whereabouts. Pray, give my regards to everyone back home. Tell them that I swear to return as soon as I can. Sir Leonard will be very glad to know that Sir Ulrika is safe. We ought to bring him these tidings post haste. I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray, follow me. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. This ladder can take us to new- Here we are. Ah, it is a relief to hear that Ulrika is safe. Mayhap there is aught I could do for her, for Vazid, though the Queen Regent's influence has become. My humblest thanks. You have proven a friend to Melv and me as well. It isn't much, but here, I would not see you go unrewarded for your trouble. 